actually uh, active on several organisations, which she'll tell you a little bit about. Um, I'm presenting her, the culmination, the highlights of her research and advocacy over the past <coughs> 14 months, I guess. Thank you, Nasa. Hello, everybody. Uh, before I start, I would like to thank the Dangano Neighborhood Trust for their support in conducting and collecting the information, to Sarah for her invaluable uh, support, advice, and guidance, and to the Evelyn Ocean for supporting the research and for giving me the vital tools to enable me to carry out the research. Thanks also to Pamela, who is here, to Serena, Marie, who are my friends and colleagues, who, who also gave me valuable support and encouragement. Thanks also to those who participated in the research by interviews and focus group and gave me valuable time to answer the questionnaires. The research would not have been possible without their input and knowledge. A little bit about me. I'm Hafsa Mohammed. I'm a community researcher, so I go out into the community to find out about their health needs and to also assign them to services which are vital to them. I research on local needs. I promote and raise awareness of the Earth Sport Health and Wellbeing Center, which is a center which formed two, two years ago. So I became a community researcher then and started to go out into the community to tell them what their needs are and also to help them um, manage, the, um, give us views on how they want the services to be, uh, to be conducted or uh, to have them assess these services and also to link them to the center. Uh, so the introduction, this is a qualitative research project to raise awareness and highlight the poverty within vulnerable communities in the affluent borough of Camden and Chelsea, which is not immediately obvious. The report will identify the extent of which the poverty removes choice and hinders people from participating within the society. The impact on their individual personal power, the struggles living in poverty compounded by isolation. There has been a rise of 22% of people needing assistance from the council housing department, and this is set to continue. The cuts in welfare benefits and the austerity measures are already having a big impact on the community. Kensington and Chelsea has the highest number of people suffering with mental health, and the majority of adults with mental illness in receipt of incapacity benefits come from the St. Charles Ward, the area I conducted my research. Aims are objectives. To explore poverty within the seemingly affluent borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Secondly, <coughs> the benefits changes and how they are affecting people and to explore awareness of local services. Specifically, I wanted to explore how poverty within vulnerable communities, such as refugee and migrant communities, and disabled people and others is linked to mental health issues, language barrier, and marginalization among others. My definition of poverty, in my own thoughts and words, it is the economic deprivation when people can't pay for food, when there are people sleeping rough, people still have to battle with the basics of paying their rent. This impacts on families significantly. My findings. The key findings in my research are as follows. Those living in this poor world face a number of difficulties and are feeling the challenges <coughs> in their benefits already. There are hurrying stories. There was lack of motivation, effects of the cuts, engagement and violence, lack of activities. I asked participants if they wanted to become health champions. Only 3% said yes. It suggests they are not willing to participate in the community or that they haven't had their issues addressed. So they had developed ambivalence to taking part. They also said they were too busy with their families. There are lots of services locally, but they are not accessible to local people. Case study, an example of the recent changes, one is, I spoke to one lady who highlighted her stress as a carer. She felt that caring for someone with severe mental health issues and disabilities was starting to affect the way she communicates with people outside her, the community or her care room. It should have been straightforward. With the personal care budget, it theoretically gives a patient independence, but this is still dictated by nurses and doctors. <coughs> it's trouble to make them understand that her daughter, disabled daughter, needed care beyond what they have just suggested. She 
climate changes were constant and impossible to keep up with. She said as soon as she was just getting used to one department, she was moved to another, and she had to open up communications with another. She said she felt no one was taking charge. She found this very stressful. My recommendations. To increase the availability of services which are affordable, create centers which have various activities, created solely for isolated people with an easy to understand time to encourage to encourage engagement. This should be built on the request of local people to validate and support them. Activities to bring older and younger people together so that they can learn from each other and to create more vibrant communities. Employment service should be tailored to people's needs and sessions uh, to encourage their skills or build their capacity. Community healthy eating and living classes to start children from young. Because uh, from my research, people complain that the children are getting fat and this is easy, easy food that is available and cheap. More public health messages, even with home visits, food health champions to help families using their local knowledge. Stop cutting vital services, they need to be nurtured. This is really important for the health of the communities. Promote services that are fair and just, enhancing the quality of life and the ability of individuals to challenge those policies which are detrimental to their improvement of <coughs> life and to have the knowledge to do that head on. Conclusion. What has been done locally? There are a number of services locally as listed in my research. However, many of these were not affordable. Some were being cut, some of the community services were flagged off as not well used, and some local people felt they were not for them. Regarding my literature review, it is clear from my findings that people's everyday lives have been affected by poverty and the cuts. This impacts even more. At the rate of things changing, there is a lot of certainty in the community. This leads to more stress and feeling of helplessness and worthlessness. The introduction of the bedroom tax has contributed <coughs> to the hardships, with many said to be either homeless or moved to places further to their families or unfamiliar surroundings. My actions are so far uh, after the research, we <coughs> have been to some local uh, champions which were recruited. I'm currently doing a research project with the borough of, of Camden to find out the residents, their views on local services and how that can help them. Yeah, I got 80 people. Yeah. Just being back. So I had to think of ways to get them to engage. Yeah, very nice.